All right, Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Arakak, Wadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect. It's the book of Isaiah, chapter 47, verse 5. Sit thou silent and give thee into darkness, O daughter of the Chaldeans, for thou shalt be no more called the Lady of Kingdoms. So also, you can equate the daughter of the Chaldeans, America, Babylon, the Great. The daughter of Babylon, right? These various different places or that's mentioned or title in the scripture still refer to America, Babylon, the great. Even the places which is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt. This all references America, Babylon, the great. Now, you just had a, you know, um, the presidential, presidential, like the presidential election where Trump, as we see, or as we know by now, Trump has already won. Now, this does not mean America, Babylon, the great will continue to thrive, right? This does not mean America, Babylon, the great will not see destruction. No, America, Babylon, the great is still going to see the oncoming destruction that it's going to get via prophecy, via the Holy Scriptures. Now, it doesn't even matter who would have won the, pre the, won the presidency election because there's no one who's going to be able to make this place great again, right? This place is completely finished, all right? But according to the scriptures, according to biblical prophecy, this place is going to continue to circle the drain. So no matter who is in office, the circumstances of America, Babylon, the Great is still what? Still has an oncoming destruction that is going to be coming very soon. So I want to start at the top, the book of Isaiah, chapter 47, verse 1. It says, come down and sit in the dust, O virgin, daughter of Babylon. Sit on the ground. There is no throne. So there's no going to be more sitting on high. There's no more going to have that that uh, that pump attitude that America, Babylon, the great, or uh, America, Babylon, the great, wants and used to have. No, you won't sit on the ground. Why? Because there is no throne. All right. Even the other nations, the other nations don't even look at America, Babylon, the great to say, OK, that's why the scriptures say what? That's why the scriptures say. Are thou likened to us? Basically, the other nations are saying, well, we on the same plan, field. OK, we're about on the same level. And what we see happening, I'm going to continue to read a little bit more. Verse two, it says, take the take the millstones and grind mill, uncover thy locks and make bare the leg. Uncover the thigh, pass over the rivers. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered, yea, thy shame shall be seen. And this is what the world is now seeing. They are seeing the shame of America, Babylon the Great. They are seeing all the evidence of why this place is called the whore that sitteth upon many waters. They are seeing all the evidence of why this is called the bloody sea. But we also do know, as the scriptures say, woe into the bloody bloody city which is full of what lies and robbery the world is seeing it okay so thy nakedness is what it is being uncovered and thy shame is being seen more and more as their tongues are falling upon themselves as edomites are exposing the wickedness and the madness of this nation of the heathen and even even more so us the israelites Israelites the one out of bringing all this information to the forefront of the wickedness that Esau Edom has done all throughout the earth and how he even established America Babylon the Great and he established it upon what? Lies and robbery and blood. Okay? Because see what people fail to realize is Esau's Edom blessing is what? The sport and the fatness of the earth. That's why he has everything in his hands now, as the scriptures say, the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? Right? This is why these things are being said. All right? So let's continue going in verse 4. It says, as for our Redeemer, Yahweh of, the host, Yahweh of hosts is his name, the Holy One of Israel. Sit thou silent and get thee into darkness, O daughter of the Chaldeans, for thou shalt no more be called the lady of kingdoms i was wroth with my people and we know who the lord's people are which are the israelites 
It says, I have polluted mine inheritance, which we are that and still that, and given them into thine hand. So, as the scripture says, he that let will let it him until he be taken out of the way. So the Lord let all these things take place. But these things have taken place for what? For our disobedience to the Heavenly Father. Right? This is why these things are and have been done unto us. Okay? Because the Lord has given us into their hand for a point in time. Okay? So it says, Thou didst show them no mercy, which Esau don't show mercy. He don't even know how to show mercy. Mercy, mercy shouldn't even roll off his tongue because he doesn't give no one any grace. It says, Upon the ancient hast thou very heavily laid thy yoke, and thou saidest, I shall be a lady forever, so that thou didst not lay these things. Salakia. It said, this, And thou saidest, I shall be a lady forever, so that thou didst not lay these things to thy heart. Neither did this remember the latter end of it. So Esau had it in his mind said that he's going to be able to continue to do these things forever, forever and ever and ever. But this is not the case because he has a day. All right. A day of reckoning, a day of judgment, a day of destruction is coming upon him and his people. Right. Even even the heathen. OK. And I'll even mention this too, the two thirds of our people. But I'll say this. As the scriptures say, all Israel shall be saved. So all Israel is going to be in the kingdom. All right. It's just the two thirds of our people are going to got to go through the harsh, harsh judgment for their continual disobedience to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh and their rebellion and their disrespect as they like to choose other gods. Right. As they like to get into heavy idol worship, as they like to just do multiple things that the Heavenly Father does not agree with or does not accept. That is not OK with. Things that what? Things that are abominable unto him. So verse 8, it says, Therefore, hear now this, thou that art given to pleasures, thou dwellest carelessly. This place dwells without complete care. Right? And see, they're, they're in so much pride that they're in comfortability with what? Pushing forth this rebellion and wickedness against Yahweh Bashem Shai and letting it and letting this be influenced upon the people. To the whole world and even start with our people because they have our people pushing forth this madness. It says, I am and none else beside me. I shall not sit as a widow, neither shall I know the loss of children. But these two things shall come to thee in a moment, in one day. The loss of children and widowhood, they shall come upon thee in their perfection. For the multitude of thy what? Sorceries. And for the great abundance of thy enchantments. You see, so all these different things that you have done, you are going to have to answer for. Right? There is no getting away with this. For thou hast trusted in thy wickedness. Thou hast said, none see of me. Thy wisdom and thy knowledge, it hath perverted thee. And thou hast said in thy heart, I am and none else beside me. This is the mindset that Esau Edom runs around with the world, runs around the world with. Okay, thinking he can't be taken down, thinking he can do whatever the hell he want with no repercussions. But no, the scriptures say you will, you will get these repercussions. You nations will have to deal with the heavenly Father's judgment for who? For the controversy of Zion. Right. So it says, stand now with thy enchantments and with thy multitude of thy sorceries, wherein thou hast labored from thy youth, and if thou shalt be able to profit it, so be thou mayest prevail. So I just wanted to do that, something just real quick with the spirit as I think thinking about as how these people think that just because, you know, Trump is in office that they're gonna continue to win. Nah, they ain't gonna win. They're gonna take this L, right? They're gonna take that heavy L.